Hello everyone, my name is Jessica and I'm the host and owner of the Fit With Faith podcast, where we talk about real stories, real struggles, and real life. And just so you know, God is always a part of the conversation. I'm glad you're here. Now let's dive in. Hello everyone, this is Jessica here and I am the owner and host of the Fit With Faith podcast. I am also the owner of a faith-based life coaching company called Fit With Faith Coaching. I have a photography business called Fearfully Made Photography. I have a side little apparel business called By Grace Designs. And you know, I'm starting this podcast because I want to bring you unfiltered, uncut truths, honestly. So it is called Fit With Faith. And on here we talk about real struggles, real stories, and real life. Now, what does that mean? Why am I calling it Fit With Faith? Well, because ultimately, I always say, you need to armor up. You need to put on your armor of God. And to do so, you need to be fit with God. You need to have such strong faith that nothing and no one can break you. Nothing and no one can hurt you. If you inherently believe who you are in God and you understand that you are here for a reason, No one can change that. No one can change the belief that you have in God. No one can change your identity because God's the one who gave you your identity. And God doesn't change. He made you for a reason. You are here for a purpose. And I hope within the things that I talk about that you genuinely start to believe that. That your identity comes from God. Having the next best thing, the fancy car, the fancy house, the pretty clothes, the new makeup, all of those things, while you may think that's a part of your identity, it's really not. It's really not. And I watch it all the time on social media. I watch people identify themselves as depressed, as anxious, as having some sort of other problem that everyone wants to say because, I mean, everyone has to put a label on everything. If we don't label something, then God forbid. But y'all, your identity is found in God, plain and simple. He is the one who created you and he's the only one who can tell you who you are. So right now, if you're questioning who you are, I encourage you to ask God to give you some guidance on who you are. Because like I said, he's the one who made you. So why wouldn't you want to go to him and ask him for some help? Seriously. Now. Why am I doing this? Why am I starting a podcast? Well, I've been talking on TikTok Live for quite some time now. I say that, but I think it's only been like six weeks. Anywho, I am inherently very, very passionate about helping people realize who they are in the eyes of God. It's really important to me that everyone understands how valuable they are. And I'll be the first to say, the enemy wants nothing more than for you to doubt yourself and to have anxiety to be sad, to be depressed, to feel like you're lost, and to isolate you and make you feel like you're all alone. Yeah. It's really fun, huh? When the enemy makes you feel like you're lost and alone. Well, it's a good thing we have a God who loves us so much that he wants to take that from you. Because while the enemy wants to make you feel all those negative emotions, wants you to feel chaos, wants you to feel depressed, sad, lonely all the time, It's a good thing we have a God who wants you to feel the exact opposite, who wants you to feel joyful, wants you to know that you're loved, wants you to know you're important, and wants to remind you of just how valuable you are. Because guess what? If you're here on this earth, you have a purpose. God made you for a reason, and it's time you start believing that. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, who's the enemy? Who's this enemy you speak of? Well, the enemy is the devil. Then we're going to talk about him. We're going to talk about him quite a bit. Because guess what? If you want to beat the devil, you want to defeat your enemies, you have to know who they are. You have to know how they fight. You have to know that he has people, and quote unquote demons, that work for him. The enemy is not alone. And he's going to come for you every chance he gets. Because he hides in darkness. And where God is calling you to be a light, The enemy wants nothing more than for you to feel the opposite, to feel like you're not a light, to feel like there is no light. He is going to come for you, whether you're a Christian or not. 
whether you have a super strong foundation in God or not, he is going to come for you. He's going to attack you. And I want to show you and teach you how to beat him. And to do that, you got to talk about him. You got to know who he is. You got to know how he works. So we're going to talk about him too. And the whole point I am so motivated to do this is because I genuinely want you to get closer to God. I want to open your eyes to see how important you are. I want you to understand how important you are. And I know it's hard. I know it's kind of hard to feel that way in a world where there's so many things going wrong. And because of all the things going wrong and because of the way society is, that is why I feel such a strong pull to start this podcast because this is going to be unfiltered, uncut. It's going to be real. It's going to be raw. It's going to be unedited because, well, to be perfectly frank, I don't really know how to edit this that much and I feel like it's going to take me a really long time to figure it out. So we're just going to roll with it. You might hear the dogs in the background. I think you did a few times already. I might word vomit. I might have to like reset my words. I might make some weird noises. I I, I don't know. We'll just have to see where that all ends up. But at the end of the day, I want you to understand that you are here for a reason. You do have a purpose. God made you for a reason. You are loved. You are important. And you are needed here. And don't forget, That if you know who you are in the eyes of God and you understand that God is the one who defines you, then you take away the enemy's power. Because the enemy has no power unless you give him power. And within the episodes of this podcast, I want to help you take away the enemy's power and to take your power back. Because I'm going to be using Bible stories. I'm going to just do certain subjects, topics. I'm going to explain Bible verses, how I see them. I'm going to talk about some stories. I'm going to talk about things that Jesus talked about, the parables, the gospels, all the things. I'm going to remind you of all the promises that God spoke over you. And I'm going to make you understand that with God, you are more than able. And I'll leave you with my favorite little part of a verse. It's Psalms 139, 14. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I hope you never forget that. And if no one's ever told you that before, I hope you really start to embody that and believe it because God made you in his image and likeness. You're in special. You need to believe you're special. You need to believe that you're different. And you need to appreciate the fact that you're different. You weren't meant to be like everybody else. That's why you're fearfully and wonderfully made. I hope to see you on my next episode and leave me a comment if you liked this. If you have anything you want me to talk about or you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Um, Yeah, I'm excited to get started and I hope you come back for more. Thanks for watching. I meant listening.